there's renters and there's buyers definition of a buyer the definition of a buyer is somebody who's interested in owning having ownership and everything they touch from their vehicles to their homes to their lands to their properties you know and then there's renters renters are just interested in living for the moment a renter is just interested in living for the moment that's the best way I can explain it uh, uh, a renter can't leave anything to their family if you're a renter you can't leave anything to your children you can't leave anything to your grandchildren because you don't own it now a buyer is the one that wants to think about the future the buyer is the one that wants to make sure little Jay and little Nene, little Nene is all set when they're gone so at the end of the day you got to ask yourself this what are you doing have you been in a place for 20 years and you're still renting you ain't with not even having the option to buy or have you had the option to buy but didn't want to because of security of the landlord fixing stuff because you're renting guys we got to think about this and we got to think deep about this this is the future when you got grandchildren or children that are depending on you we can't mess up we're the ones that got to be the ones to get right so we leave something for them you know i look at it like this i look at it just like this too like you know i was talking to a homeboy and it was just like this the conversation came up i said yeah man i go you know i know somebody who makes about a quarter million a dollar between you know them and their partner you know i said but they don't own nothing i said they don't own nothing i said then i know with this other jit that makes about 35,000 a year. He owns his house. He owns his cars. You know, blah, blah, blah. He owns the land his house is on. Who's the richer man? You know, at the end of the day, it don't matter how much money you got. It's what you do with the money. Juice World said it. He said, everybody talks about the money they make, but not the money they save. And that's a fact. You know, a man can tell you, oh, I ran through 100 bands. But you can ask him how much money he got in his account and he don't got nothing. Guys. Like I tell people all the time, if you're that sole provider of your family and all you got is that paycheck that comes in week to week, no money in the account or anything like that, get at least life insurance if you ain't focused on anything. Pay If you're making a good, decent amount of money and y'all living luxurious right now, what happens when that paycheck stops coming? Especially for the people that are making $2,500 a week. You living a $2,500 a week where you messing up. You should be living a $1,000 a life thousand dollar a week life you know what i mean y'all don't understand if you make thirty dollars an hour and you lose your job do you know how hard it is going to be for you to find another thirty dollar an hour job people don't think like that you got to think deeper than the picture the picture is bigger than what you see you know what i mean you could give a picture to somebody and say what do you see and somebody you could get a picture to the next person they might see a different thing the point of this video right here is at the end of the day to change your mindset if you ain't owning anything you don't even own your vehicles you don't even own your cell phone the only thing you own is the food in your refrigerator it's time to change that especially if you got a generation behind you that's depending on you to set everything for them up it's nothing wrong with handing giving people what they call a silver spoon there's nothing wrong with that at the end of the day it don't hurt to say hey listen I don't have much but I left you a half acre it don't hurt you know it don't hurt that much but i left you this uh one bedroom house you know what i mean at the end of the day you left your kids something it's hey chris rock said it you what we gonna leave our kids when we gone a bill or a will that's the real shit renters buyers there's bills and there's wills when you gone for real i'm dead ass y'all y'all know i speak nothing but the real shit this is the real talk show my mind is open i look at the future and i just see people i see the money people touch and i be like damn that person done touched these amount of dollars and has nothing to show for it. Guys, again, I ain't going to be long. Like I tell you all the time, it's the real talk show. Love the page. Do whatever you do. Share the page if you're feeling it. But at the end of the day, y'all, real shit. There's renters and buyers. Ask yourself, what are you? Second question, there's wills and bills when we gone. You going to leave your family a will? Or you going to leave your family a bill? It's Tyrone True. You already know what it is. I appreciate everybody tuning in. Thank you.